Welcome back to my studio. In today's video, I will show you how to embroider this beautiful long hair with a ribbon bow tie from the back using mainly satin stitches. Satin stitch is versatile and useful to fill any desired embroidered space. So I will show you how I do just that for this embroidery design. First, we will need to transfer the pattern onto our fabric. I will use my iPad as a light box, go to settings, turn on my guided access, and triple press the home button to activate the guided access to lock my screen around the pattern. This way, the screen will move when I trace my pattern onto the fabric using the heat erasable pen. Another way to transfer the pattern is to print it on a stick and stitch stabilizer sheet. I'm using Sulky brand stabilizer. After printing, cut the excess transfer, leaving about half an inch extra around the pattern. Then peel off the back, stick the transfer onto the fabric, and start stitching. Both options with cleaning instructions are included in my PDF pattern and stitching guide. Let's start our embroidery. I will start with three strands of floss 3774 and the satin stitch for the skin. We will embroider our stitches horizontally and adjust the length of the stitches as we move down. Then I will use three strands of floss 761 and the satin stitch for the shirt. We will stitch the same way we did with the skin. For the top of the hair, I will use three strands of floss 938. We will use the satin stitch starting from the middle straight down to the bow ties knot. Then as we move to the side, we will slowly adjust the stitches diagonally to form the hair pattern as how it would look in real life when we tie it half up into a bow tie. This is a variation of the satin stitch that will help us achieve our desired pattern with this half up half down hairstyle. For the half down part, I'm using all 6 strands of floss 938 and the satin stitch. We will create diagonal stitches. I will start from the center and work my way to the sides. Instead of pulling the stitches down completely, we will keep these stitches loose so we can create some hair flow.
Then I will use one strand of floss 938 and create small stitches along the half down hair strands and make them curve to the right, creating a hair flow effect. Using one floss strand and creating tiny stitches will hide them and make the hair flow look natural. You can also use one strand of the same floss color to put down odd hair strands to make the hair look even more natural. Let's move on to the bow tie. I will show you two ways to create the bow tie using a satin ribbon. The first way is to tie a bow knot with a ribbon. Then I will use one strand of floss 761 to stitch the bow knot to its spot on the fabric. The second way is to create ribbon embroidery and we use a larger embroidery needle. We will carefully make two stitches on each side for the bow's wings. Take your time to pull the needle through and adjust the fabric if it droops. Then create a vertical stitch in the middle for the bow's knot. And it's that simple. If you want to create an outline for the upper body, use one strand of floss 938 and the outline stitch.
And that is it for this embroidery design. It is very lovely, yet simple enough to create. Just take your time and be gentle with your stitching. Give me a thumbs up to let me know if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have any questions, feedback, or simply say hello. The link to purchase this pattern and stitching guide is down below. Subscribe to my channel for more handmade and embroidery content. If you would like to support me and my work further, my Patreon is now available. Paid members will get early access to video content. Tier 3 members will get at least one monthly pattern and stitching guide without extra cost as part of their tiers benefits. Your support will help me improve my video's quality and create subtitles and stitching guides in different languages for non-English speakers. I'm extremely thankful for your support and you being here already means a lot to me. Follow me on social media and subscribe to my newsletters using the link tree in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon.